Hi, I'm back, and look where we are. We're in a Canadian forest. Or pro probably more, more apt name is Canadian Cave, which might or might not be in Canada, I can't tell. For the first level of TC14's Quest of Gold complete version. I'm gonna save it, my first save. Well, I, I've played this before, so it's not technically my first save. And there's an eagle that we now have to fight. It, it most of the time doesn't care about fighting, uh, it's just flying into a wall, which makes my job a bit easier. Pretty easy to kill there. Which is nice. Nice easy first enemy for us. And now we can get the crowbar, and I'll, I'll save again. And in a new space. What? She just didn't grab. Oh. That's weird. This isn't going well so far. There we go. Third time lucky. Okay, so we get the crowbar so that we can go on our mission to collect four valve wheels, which we need to get to a gold mine. But it all makes sense at some point, I hope. So, yeah, now we begin our quest for the four valve wheels. But first, we must fight a bear! Who doesn't seem particularly interested. Oh, there, there he is. Jump away from the bear. Ah. Bears don't do particularly much for some reason. I can't tell why. They seem like they would, but they just don't. And now we get up this ladder into another cave, and can you guess what we're going to find in this little cave? Well, have a guess, have a guess. Another bear! Lara's tackling the bear problem in Canada head-on with violence and guns and gun violence bears are a big problem in Canada big pest problem in Canada with eagles and bears for some reason no one wants to do much about it so you have to run around here to trigger some enemies which is a bit annoying and look there they are or maybe they were just camouflaged really well and we couldn't see them but they keep shooting at me and I don't like it There we go. They're both dead. So yeah, Lara here, before you start her own pest control business, she's killing many, many bears and a few eagles. In fact, we face the second and last eagle of the level now. So that, that's sad, but I don't know where it's gone. Ah, oh, there it is. It just flies away. It's not even doing anything. Nice, it's dead. And now we can get our first secret. Yay, first secret time. Right after we get these revolver clips. So if we slide down here and walk forward a step, I think. Oh, come on, she should, she should pick it up. There we go. We get shotgun ammo. More shotgun ammo. I like, I like the retexture shotgun ammo box. That's a nice touch. And gold bars. Which is the secret, and you heard the secret chime. And so now we can also go behind the other side for a small mini pack, which is always nice. I don't know how many small mini packs we'll need throughout the level, so I'm going to try and pick them up wherever possible. But there are a lot of pickups in the level. I will try to get all the secrets, but I can't promise that I'm going to get all the pickups, because that's not easy. And we face the next guard. There he is. When Lara finishes this level, bears, eagles, and guards will all be extinct. And now we can get the first valve wheel. I just I think it's a bit rude of Lara to steal the valve wheels. 
because that boy needed and I just controlled the heating in the places or something and so she's causing a major inconvenience by sealing them and now we have this flyby it's a bear and a guard who just doesn't really care that the bear's trying to attack him if I was the guard I'd probably shoot the bear but he's, he's just walking around not doing particularly much the bear might kill him he sometimes does and sometimes doesn't. Now, it'll make our life easier if the bear kills him, but I don't think he will this time. That's a bit of a shame. Oh well. Let's save again. Yeah, he, he didn't kill him. Stupid bear. Oh, now he's dead. Well, that was easy. bear doesn't really care that we're here. Now it's dead. That's the third bear that Lara's killed today. It's, it's a bit mean on the bear community. The Canadian bears don't deserve this. I pull the switch. You'd expect, I don't know, a switch to raise a block or open a door or something normal like that but we can tell that this build isn't normal because of what the switch actually does can you guess what the switch does? it makes this icy walkway appear in the sky I didn't think switches did that but I'm, I'm wrong evidently I saved there for good reason because she doesn't always make it onto the walkway when you jump back from the ladder so I'm sorry if she doesn't I hope she does but I can't promise yay And now we can get the fuse. And are you ready for the second secret of the level? I'm ready for the second secret of the level. Let's go get it. Look, the second secret. And a nice little easter egg for us. It's a drunk yeti. Ah, he's got wine and everything. But, seriously, yetis and their alcoholism is it's a very serious problem it, it's no laughing matter except when they fall down that is drinking that. So that was that was nice and we get secret which is a gold skull and some oozy ammo always nice that we're getting ammo for guns that we don't own yet just build up a nice collection. And we go back up the ladder. Right, let, let's discuss the story now. I, I like the story of this level. Lara heard about a powerful artifact made of gold by ancient Indians in Canada. I thought ancient Indians in Canada would probably be called Canadians or ancient Canadians. I didn't, I didn't think ancient Indians lived in Canada but I'm evidently wrong. And now we can journey back to the main cabana area. The cabana, the big house there to your right. And um, we can journey to place the fuse. Let's carry on with the story. After an investigation, she finds it might be hidden in a temple. That's it's like a quite a big generalization. Like how did she investigate this? And then the temple is underneath a gold mine in the Canadian forest. So she takes the plane, and no sooner is she in Canada than she jumps into a jeep to go to the forest. I forgot where I am now, are there? Right, well, just, just one other problem with that, really. She didn't, like... She didn't start with a jeep though, did she? She started in a cave with no jeep. Which is a bit strange. I don't understand it personally, but oh well. Maybe her driving was just so bad that she lost the jeep and wound up in a cave. I really want the medipack. Don't know how rare medipacks are going to be. Oh, and some flares. I like the use of putting objects on the work stool. 
Now, she doesn't crawl all the time, which is really annoying. I don't know why she's not doing it. There we go. That gave me a scare. Sh I played it once through, and she just didn't crawl, which I was a bit annoyed at. And now we can place the fuse. Wait, that, that's not the way you get up. That's the way you get up. missing fuse there which will allow this generator to work and this flyby will show us what it does oh no it's heading through a pole and it went through the pole which for a level that scored 9.81 on charlie.net it seems to be quite a beginner mistake making the flyby go through a pole but as we can see that door is now open and we can carry on with our quest the prayer wheels. But first we want a small mini pack. So let's go around here. And look, there it is on the desk. I don't know if Lara feels wrong stealing all this stuff. I would feel a bit wrong doing it. But then she's killing them anyway. You wonder how much of a conscience she actually has. And she's not calling again. There we go. Now we'll see the only problem with using loads of objects all the time is that getting out of here can be a bit of a hassle because if you don't get the right place you just fall back down again which is a bit annoying. I'm going to save here because I want to I wanna be really awesome in my attempt to get over to the other side. No, I didn't do it. Oh well. Now let's carry on. And get to this next little bit where we have some guards to shoot again. Two of them this time. I'm going to use a medipack. I have 11 of them already. I would say it's wise to use a medipack. Ah! Uh, that wasn't good by me. And they don't even drop anything. How inconsiderate. I hope they die. Oh, I'll wait. I just killed them. I think I think I'll need to use another mini pack now. That's a shame. I'm ashamed about that. Okay, so now the second valve wheel, which is handily connected to a pipe, so it's evidently quite important. But Lava just steals it anyway. And now I begin the long quest for the third valve wheel. It'll take a while, so prepare yourself. If she moves. And now there's the third valve wheel. Yay! not much of a difficult puzzle to get that one I don't know if the builders you know lacked inspiration or something but now we do have another guard to shoot how did he get there he's probably just really well camouflaged we didn't spot him first time around does he drop anything no he doesn't so inconsiderate they don't drop anything sometimes Onwards we journey to the next little area. I'm saving too often, I know, I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm light as pictures, and I'm a saberholic. But now we can go get the fourth prayer wheel. Prayer wheel? Valve wheel. I played Himalayan Mysteries and they had prayer wheels, and that's got in my head. They are called valve wheels, unless the Canadians worshipped them, which I doubt they did. But if they did, then they might be called prayer wheels. Now we can journey onwards to the next, to the last valve wheel. Look, the journey's already nearly over. It's, yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? The, the journey for this one is quite a long one. Why is she doing that? That doesn't make sense. And if we run in here... Uh, can you shoot these crystals? Some of them you can shoot and some of them you can't. Run in here. Oh my god, it's another bear. It's the last bear of the level. Which is it's sad. 
I'm sorry that it's the last bear of the level. But they actually did become extinct when Lara kills this one. This is the last bear. Oh, it was the last bear. It's not the last bear anymore. There's no more bears. Now we end up in this little cave area. And we have a nice, long, relaxing shimmy. Which must really hurt her arms. And she can't look down. Because she'll get scared. She's just got to hold on and grab for dear life. And just pray, I guess. Pray to the wheel. The valve wheel. That she makes it. Yeah, not much to say at this point. It's quite a nice level. I think you'd agree. Um, but probably not the best in the series. I, I wouldn't know. I've not played the rest yet. I'll try to make this a weekly thing if there's enough demand for it. I hope there is. I hope you enjoy it. I've received suggestions that I should do the higher rated levels. So that's what I'm doing. I thought I'd start off with, you know, the easy shorter ones. Which is why I chose the longest level. Longest series of levels on Tiara Lee. Which was a clever decision, I think. Uh, so yeah, uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. That would be great. Leave feedback. Really nice if you could do that. And that's the shimmy over. I hope she calls. Let's try this cool roll. I've not tried it yet. She doesn't seem to be doing it. Oh. I'm evidently doing it wrong or something. I'm sorry. It'd be better if I could do the crawl wall, I guess, because then we wouldn't have to crawl for so long. But that's just not going to happen for some reason. I'll figure out why I can't do the crawl wall. And to get to the oh flares, I nearly missed them. To get to that lever, we had to shoot that random crystal, which didn't like show any sign of being able to be shot at. If we wait a bit, and it'll happen. Explosion. You're probably wondering what exploded. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you've already played this level and you're just watching this to see me mess up and fail. That's not very nice. Why would you do that? That's mean. But in that case, you know what exploded. But to those who don't... Oh, well that's a wall. It's difficult to see. I should probably use the flare. Ah, oh, here we are. You wonder what exploded? Well, find out now. The ice exploded in the lake, and now we can go in. Yay. And for some reason you need to crawl there and just stand up immediately. It's a bit weird. Now this is falling ice... Stalactites or stalagmites, it's one of the two. And you shoot as many crystals as you can. Some of them are shootable, some of them aren't. And if you shoot all four... Then the door opens. Oh, that was close. And you get into this area. I probably missed a few pickups, and I apologise if I have. Hopefully we won't need them. I'm pretty sure we're going to face another baddie in here. Oh, it's another baddie. Why did she put her guns away? It's not ah. Ah, he, he's dead now. And he's left a small pack. How nice. And this cabana key, which allows us to get the fourth valve wheel. And more shotgun ammo. Two lots of shotgun ammo. But now we have some boulders, so forgive me if I die. I don't intend to. I just hope I make it. Yeah. That wasn't too difficult. Or maybe it was, and I'm just really good at Tomb Raider. I'll let you decide. Yeah, and now we can leave this area. I don't know how many points you can leave from. I always leave from there. And you get this really long ladder climb. You may have spotted the ladder earlier when we did the shimmy. Look, there it is. Nice long ladder climb to get up to the top of this area. Again. Yay. In case you're wondering and you're thinking, oh, this guy's using the walkthrough to play. I'm not using the walkthrough at the moment, but I am 
going in the same direction as the walkthrough so that in case you get stuck reading the walkthrough you can look at this and know where you are that way it makes for less confusing playing if that makes sense I hope it makes sense, it made sense in my mind got no more baddies for now which is good is that shootable? no it's not shootable I don't know why some of them are shootable and some of them aren't I think that's a bit of a cheat and now we can place the key the cabana key and get the last bow wheel we just run forward and there it is attached to some wood oh, just wood panels with a valve wheel on it does that make sense? I don't think that makes sense what could they possibly be using that for? it's like not like it would do anything why is she stuck? Oh. Yes, I'll just go around this way. Easier. So, yeah, now the time has come to place the valve wheels. I am saving a lot. I'm sorry for saving so much. Ah! Oh, that was close. Have I died so far? I don't think I've died so far. Ah! That was even closer. I don't think I've died yet. But for the third time, really? Really, Lara? It's getting ridiculous now, isn't it? Yes! I'm gonna save there. She can aim through wood and fire at the baddies. I once had it where there was just one of them here, so I don't know what happened there. Did one of them kill the other one? But anyway, we have two now. Our oh, one of them's already dead. I don't think they drop anything, which is really, really inconsiderate. Except for that guy who drops shotgun ammo. Weird that they have shotgun ammo, because they don't use shotguns. So who's giving them this random shotgun ammo to have? And this is the last secret. We get more shotgun ammo. So by the time I get the shotgun, it'll be really, really easy to kill baddies. But I haven't got the shotgun yet, which is a shame. And the last secret of the level. Some gold coins. And then you just jump back. And you carry on with the adventure. Now you're gonna get confronted by a baddie again. Eventually. Wait, there's anything on that desk? Yeah, there's some flares. No shotgun ammo. More shotgun ammo. Like why have the the guards got loads of shotgun ammo but no shotguns? I think it's only common sense. But that's the secondary complex key that we use. And here's a guard coming around the corner now! Is he actually going to shoot at me? Or is he just going to die? I mean, it's probably good to flop with health now, I would, I would probably suggest to myself. After you pick up these Uzi clips. Again, no Uzis. Uzi ammo, Desert Ranger ammo, shotgun ammo. But I don't have any of them. Which is a bit annoying. And so we go into this nice grassy area. Which is again a bit weird. Considering it was really snowy only a few seconds ago. Why won't she go up? Ah. Uh, this has got to be annoying to watch. I apologise. There were quite a few more guards still left to kill. It turns into quite a shoot em up at the end of this level. But you know, as long as they all fire grenades, I'm I'm happy enough. Is there another one in here? There's not another one in here. And 
Now on we go to the lever, which allows us to get to the area to place all the valve wheels. I don't think I'll split this one into two parts. Hopefully I've run through it quick enough to not need to. I really hope. Um, the other ones, I've looked and they seem quite long. So they will probably need to split into at least two parts. I'll try to get a few done. Like I'll try to get one done a week. But school is starting again soon, so that's less and less likely. This one, though, I think is the shortest of all the levels in the series. Which is a, a nice, easy start for us. And that's all of the valves placed, which should mean that all of the doors have now opened. Yay! They're all open. Now, we, we have a guard to shoot. It's a bit annoying though, because we have to open the door to get him. There he is. Die, guard. Ha ha ha, he died. Anything to pick up? Yes. Some more Desert Ranger clips. And a large medipack, which is the first large medipack of the level. And the gold mine key, which allows us to get to the next level. And another guard. Just two more guards left after this one, and then we can leave the area. Did he drop anything? It'd be really nice if he did. No, he doesn't. He probably deserved to die. Yeah. Now we can run back up here and place the gold mine key. Whoa. Ooh. How close. I know there were guards here. I can sense it. Where are they? Oh, I might need to place the gold mine key first. This is the receptor for the gold mine key. Which we can now use. And there are the guards. All one of them at the moment. And there's the other one, who I'll kill in due course. Ah oh, yeah, he fires grenades. How, how nice. And some wide shot ammo. Again, a retextured box for that one, which is, which is always nice, always appreciated. And so here we are. This is where we depart the gold mine. Let's see how long it's been. 28 minutes. That's not too bad. Let's look at the statistics. Three secrets, three health packs used, 23 kills. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed making it. And I will see you next time in the gold mine. Ah, that rhymed. Uh, yeah, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and leave suggestions. So yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye.